Hi everyone, this is Jeff from the Ozark Mountains in Missouri, USA. This video is a quick update on the Commodore 64 Case Saver Kits. You might remember a few videos ago when I introduced these that the kit I had sent to Gadget UK didn't quite fit the rear tabs on his case. He had a different style case than I had come across before. And I asked if anyone else had one of these cases to get in contact with me. Well, a nice guy from Canada did and sent me some very detailed pictures with measurements uh, from his VIC-20 case, which had this what I'm calling a Type 2B or Type 2C tab, which are kind of hooked instead of a solid piece. Let's have a look at this VIC-20 here, and I'll cut him some pictures, and we'll see what those look like. As it turns out, I had a VIC-20 case that had this same style tab, and I didn't realize it because it was a boxed one, and I just hadn't taken it out of the box and look. So, uh, let's have a look at this. We'll pop this open. I've already had this apart. And we can see that the bottom part of the case looks very similar. It just has slots cut across here, just like the other case types. But the tabs here are just kind of two hook-shaped things off of these splines. And I'll cut in some still pictures here which are a little more detail. That's that's why the repair tabs I sent to Gadget UK didn't quite fit. This is kind of an in-between uh, state of the two types I already had and so I had uh, labeled this as a type 2B. And to make things a little more complicated, it turns out that this case of mine has three tabs of equal width. And the case uh, from the VIC-20 that the fella in Canada had, had two wide tabs and one narrow tab. So that gives us a type 2B and 2C. So I redesigned tabs for these, and these work fine on this case. You can see it is very similar in appearance to the other 3D printed re repair tabs. It just slips right into place like so. That will get epoxied there and then your case will slip right back together and be held securely. Now the rest of the VIC-20 cases are the same. The screw post sleeves are the same and the circuit board mounting post are the same too. The 64C case is a different animal entirely. Overall, I think it's a little better design. It has catches here on the sides that hold things aligned. And it's a little easier to get apart and put back together. Let's take a closer look at that. The 64C case is a different animal altogether. Not only does it look different, but if we pop this top cover off, we can see that there's just a little nub on the top cover and there's little catches on the sides here and it seems like everything on this top cover is pretty good except the screw post can still split. I had to design some new sleeves for these. They're a slightly different size and they only have uh, two ribs here so the new sleeve is castellated just on the two sides. So. Here is the new sleeve. It's a little shorter, a little smaller in diameter. Only has two castellation slots. And they just slip over just like the bread bin cases do. Now, the same as on the bread bin cases, these posts can get kind of flared out on the top from the screw being tightened or being a little over tightened. It can flare out like this, or it can actually mushroom, so the top's a little bit like that. So you need to take a, a small jeweler's file and just very lightly uh, file down the sides till they're straight. I found probably on all 30 to 50% of the cases I've needed to do that on some of the, the post. The other thing is if you have a post that is cracked, of course it's going to be splayed out a little further. So you might have to do a little more work on that with the file. As you're pushing the sleeve on, it's going to uh, tend to, to compress that crack back together, which is good but it's going to be deformed, so you'll need to do a little work to get that to fit. It doesn't take a lot of time, though.
The tabs on these cases is also completely different. As you saw, we just had the nubs on the top case there. And if we zoom in, you can see we have kind of a hoop that sticks up here that that tab or that nub from the top catches in. Here's a shot from a different angle. You can see on my case here, this is broken. Given the different rear tab design of the 64C, of course the repair kit is completely different. The tabs look something like this. There's an error one, which is the one that was broken here we saw just a second ago. And I've trimmed the broken nubs off there with a knife to make it flush. And this part of the tab sets up under that bottom ledge like that, and it kind of snaps into place. So you clean both of those surfaces with some alcohol, let the alcohol evaporate, and just epoxy that into place. The other thing that's different on the 64C is the mounting post for the circuit board. There's actually two different heights which are different than the bread bin cases. So here we have them side by side. The taller ones are in the back of the case here. There are four taller posts and there's three shorter posts up front. Other than that, they install in the same way as on the bread bin cases. In this video, we've covered a few new case saver types for the VIC-20, C64, and 64C. I hope these let folks repair their vintage cases and keep using them for many years to come. In the description below are links to the original case saver installation video, as well as the link to the product page where you can purchase them. The new style repair kits will be added to the website very shortly with the type 2B and 2C kits for bread bin cases coming within the next few days and the 64C case repair kits will be available within two weeks. One other thing, I had someone email and asking about screw sets for the various Commodore 64 cases. This is something I hadn't thought about but I know from other things I've done that sometimes getting the right size screws for things can be difficult depending on where you live. Now, is this something that you found yourself in need of? Uh, would it be something you'd want to purchase along with the repair kit? Let me know in the comments below and if there's enough interest I'll put a few kits together and put them on the website. Thanks for watching and if you're a subscriber I really appreciate it. It helps a lot. If you're not a subscriber, what you waiting for? If you look below, you'll see a rectangular subscribe button. Just click on that little guy and you'll be subscribed to the channel. Once you do that, you'll notice a bell-shaped icon. And if you click on that dude, it'll tell you just as soon as I post a new video. So you can be one of the first people that gets to watch it. Until next time. Bye.